crying secret. Hey guys, so I'm doing another video on basically um, like upgrading your current computer. Uh, we can do this for multiple reasons. Um, the new Windows 10 is coming out, so maybe we want to upgrade to that. Or if you just want to make your computer run a little bit faster than what it currently is now. Like if you're getting a lot of freezing and like when applications open, they don't run as smoothly. Watch this video so you can uh, make your computer run a lot better. Um, so the first thing we want to look at is uh, the motherboard and like what it supports like how much RAM it could take um, and like what the processor speed is so I, I'm using a Mac right now to show you this video but I have a, another workstation which is a Dell um, Octiplex uh, 790 so what I'm gonna do is you'll do this on your computer as well we're gonna check out the board first uh, so we're gonna go to google.com so I have like I said a Dell Octiplex 790 and then we're just gonna look up specs so whatever whatever uh, computer you have just type that in and put specs at the at the back of it so like let's say if you had a latitude or if you even if you had a Mac or anything like that just check the specs out so I have the spec sheet here I'm gonna click there let's wait for it to load alright so let's view it so right here is basically everything that my uh, my Dell has. See, I have an i5, which is pretty good. Um, like I said in my previous video, you shouldn't if your computer doesn't have an i3 or like um, an AM, depending on the AMD. Uh, if it's low, uh, like if you have a Celeron processor, like a Pentium 4, you want to just replace the computer. But if you have like an i3, i5, i7, but it's still slow, um, then yeah, then we're, you should be fine and you should upgrade the computer. So let's go, like, I want to upgrade the RAM on this computer. So what I like to do, I like to go to this website called Crucial. Crucial.com. And here, this will tell us what's the max that our computer can take for the upgrade so I'll click here I'll do Dell Optiplex and like I said before I have a 790 so I want to go 790 desktop and this works on any computer if you want to know how much RAM your computer has you'll go to this website if you want to see if you can upgrade it you go to this website see currently in my workstation I have only 8 gigs of RAM but this can go up to 16 gigs of RAM um, which is pretty cool uh, that's like I tell I always tell my customers it's best to max, max out your RAM like because uh, that RAM plays a very important part of your computer like Usually typical computers come with like 4 or 6 gigs of RAM. They usually don't come out maxed out. So if you go to this website, this will show you um, how what is maxed out, how many bays you have. So if you have a 4 bay, that means, and it maxes out 16, that means each bay maxes out at 4 gigabytes. So if you have a 2 bay, let's say, and it maxes out at 16, each bay maxes out at 8. So mine maxes out 6 with a 4 bay, so I can uh, get 4 gigabytes. And then it gives you like little prices. This is through their website. But what you can do is you can take this information. Let me give you an example. You could take this information and then just go to Amazon.com and you can compare prices there. So like if I wanted to go to Amazon.com and then I type in the RAM I just found out. So I need, let's say if I need four gigs you get all these different prices so you can compare prices with other manufacturers and everything like that to see what type of RAM you can get that's that meets your price range um, so RAM like I said plays a major role as well um, another thing that we want to look at is uh, graphics cards right so let's go back to the spec sheet so mine has, uh, let's see, it has an integrated HD Graphics 2000, which is a basic, very basic graphics card. Now, if you want to get, like, for gaming, um, like, if you want to play, like, GTA or, like, 
I don't know, uh, Modern Warfare, stuff like that, you're going to need a better graphics card. So first, like I said, you're going to want to replace the RAM, and then uh, graphics, like, graphics play a major role in gaming. Like, so let's, let's see some graphics cards. Um, one of my websites I'd like to go to is Tiger Direct. And then from Tiger Direct, you go to gaming. Oh, I'm sorry. You don't go to gaming. You go to computer hardware here, and then you go to video graphic cards right here at the bottom. So you have your basic different brands here. I'm more of a GeForce NVIDIA guy. Uh, some people like AMD. Uh, whatever your preference is, doesn't really matter. So these are the GeForce cards. Like if you want to get good graphics, I will get no card less than a 960. Um, and and then the NVIDIA like the GeForces, uh, because those cards are pretty good. Now um, now if you have a custom built computer, you can do something called SLI, which basically you can put two cards together. Um, if you have a more like a Dell or HP, you have to check the board. Like you see how we went to the spec sheet here. Um, you got to make sure it supports SLI if you want to do that. But like if you're just a basic gamer, um, one card should be fine. Usually, like if you want to put two graphics cards in, is like if you want to get real good effects with it. Um, so like I said, like I like the 970s. I have two of the 970s in my uh, custom built computer. That I will I'll make a video of that. Everyone keeps asking me about my current desktop but I'll make a video later on on, on that one um, but the 970s are pretty good uh, but these are the graphics cards that you have looked for um, so let's say if I wanted to get this graphics card right think something you have to make sure you have is uh, you need a strong enough power supply so like standard power supplies usually that comes with computers are like 400 watts like 450 um, so you need this one minimum takes 500 so you're gonna have to upgrade your power supply to uh, put in your computer because uh, your your graphics card won't run unless you have the the power the correct power supply uh, and then also you have to check to see if your motherboard has like this this is PCI Express board uh, PCI Express graphics card I'm sorry um, so you got to make sure your motherboard supports that. Usually, like, if you bought your computer within five years, it'll have a PCI Express. Um, now, I don't know if you used it up on yours, but do you have to check the specs out and make sure that uh, if you have any, like, sound cards or, like, network cards in there that could take it off, you have to make sure. And also, you got to make sure that your graphics card can fit in your, your, your desktop because, like, if you have a home basic computer, uh, usually they won't like this card is pretty huge so it's not gonna fit usually they fit in custom built cases so uh, it all depends on the case size that you can put the graphics cards in so um, and then last what I want to talk about is solid-state drives um, I'll Google solid-state SSDs solid-state drive this will definitely uh, increase the speed of your computer because uh, so like everything is stored on your computer, right? So Windows runs on the hard drive. Um, everything like programs, applications, games, they all run from your hard drive. So if you have a a better solid state, faster hard drive, um, your write your write and read speeds will increase like probably double or triple the amount that a regular hard drive has. So let me give you an example of the Evos, which I love. I love Evos as well. Um, so if you look at the specs here, this is very important. So you see this write speed is six gigabytes per second. So basically your write speed will be a lot faster than the standard hard drive. Um, because the thing is a regular hard drive doesn't write as fast as that. It probably writes at two gigabytes per second, if that, um, like a lot of them are like if you let's just search a, a regular hard drive uh, let's say if I wanted a one terabyte hard drive so look a regular hard drive has 7200 RPMs so it's not even writing at the same speed as uh, 
a regular solid state hard drive. Um, so that's something to take in consideration too. Like a SSD will be a lot faster for you. Uh, so there, for so lastly, just to remember, you should definitely upgrade the RAM on your computer. RAM is very important. Um, if it has four, try to see if it can max out the eight, or like if like mine can max it out sixteen. So you want to max out to the the maximum capacity of your um, RAM. Uh, the board, you gotta check your board out to see how old your processor is. Uh, like I said, you don't, you don't want anything. If you have less than an i3, like you have a Celeron or you have a Pentium 4 or something like that, you don't want to upgrade that computer. It's probably best just to buy a new computer or custom built your uh, your computer. Um, next, if you want a graphics card for gaming, uh, you you have to make sure your first year your board supports it and then if it does support it you might have to change your power supply and then also look to see if the card will fit look at the dimensions and see if the card will fit in your board as well in your um, case as well uh, and lastly put a solid state hard drive in um, you can mirror your hard drive over you can mirror your hard drive over into a solid state drive uh, if you use like the cloning software, uh, there's a whole bunch of cloning softwares out there. My my favorite is probably Acronis. is pretty easy. Um, you can use the data transfer cable, transfer it over, and uh, that will make your computer run a lot faster. Trust me. Um, just leave any questions that you have below. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, my next video will be about uh, building a custom case. I know a lot of people's waiting for me to make that video, but I just want to do this upgrade video first for uh, like people who wanted to get like a faster computer or get ready for Windows 10 when it comes out. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, have a good one, and um, leave comments down below. Thank you.